everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about test kits. Uh, aquarium water testing, an often hotly debated topic within the hobby. There are many ways to do it, and I think I found a new exciting way to do it. Exciting in the world of test kits might be a bit of a stretch, but we'll see. So traditionally, you kind of have your dip tests. In this case, I've got the JBL Pro Scan. Uh, where you dip a strip into water and compare it to a chart. I really like the JBL uh, Pro Scan. There are other similar ones around. But you take the strip, you hold it against the card, scan it with your phone, and it spits out some numbers. Simple, great, quick, easy, love it. A step up from that is something like the API Master Kit. Take a sample of water in your test tube, you add some reagents to it, you give it a shake, you wait a while and you compare it to a colour chart. And that's where the problems can often begin. So especially if you're someone like me who's completely colour blind, um, you often struggle to compare one colour against another. So for instance, the one that always gets me is in the nitrate test, the 10 and 20 parts per million options of the nitrate test look almost identical to me. So that in itself has its own drawbacks. Then you have the creme de la creme, which might be something like the Hannah checkers, which spit out a number. So that's really the goal. That's what I've always wanted, something to do with that, but they're really expensive. But I've got this today. So this arrived in the post a little while ago uh, from a company in Poland. It's called the Diode Probe. Um, and it's a, uh, a spectro photometer or a spectro photometer or a spectro it uses lasers basically if we dive into the box i'll show you what we've got it comes in this hard case um really sturdy and always looks good it's basically called a mobile testing kit it's used in various other industries and i think they're just developing one for the aquarium industry i might have that wrong please feel free to correct me in the comments but the website's full of all kinds of people who use this sort of thing and it's basically meant to be lab grade equipment but on a hobbyist budget if you like but if we open the box you get a padded box with a whole poop ton of different reagents in here this is the main part itself this is the diode probe so you get everything you need in this test kit if you want to just know how much it costs and where you can buy it from i'll put links in the description we'll talk about that a bit at the end Short interruption, editor Graham here this time. I've just been contacted by the people who make this who've actually said they're going to offer a discount code for Aquarium Adventures subscribers for this product. So stick around to the end of the video if you're interested in it and you think you might want to buy it, you can get 20% off the price of it. More info at the end of the video. Um, but this is the main unit here. Um, so it's USB connected, but that's just for power. It doesn't connect to your computer or anything like that. But you have a little display here, and there's a little window here. And that's where you put your sample of water. It goes in here. You select the test you want, and away you go. And it's really that simple. It does come with instructions. So there are a number of different tests. Hello, dog. Um, and it tells you what you need to do for each test. But basically, it does all kinds of things, whether it's nitrates, nitrite, all the normal ones, ammonia, but we'll do phosphates, silicates, iron, calcium, magnesium, potassium, there's loads in here. It's a really comprehensive test. But as I said earlier, the key thing for me is you put in a sample and it tells you a number. There's no comparing color charts. There's no guessing what one thing is over another. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a test. So I've used it a few times, but I thought I'd take you through how you use it how simple it is, how accurate it is, and whether or not it's something that's worth looking into. So before we do that, if you look at the construction of the thing itself, this is, it's like a 3D printed box. I, w I, d I don't think it's a prototype or anything like that, but it's certainly, it's still in development. I've had a few emails back and forth with the people who make this, uh, and they have told me there are newer versions. For instance, this one that I've got here, I have to do a bit of multiplication. I have to do some maths if I want to work out the nitrate. I have to multiply a number, but that's been sorted in the version that you could buy if you were to buy this today. You wouldn't have to do that. Um, but it's, I assume it's a 3D printed box uh, with a screen here um, that tells you everything that you need to know. And it's really as simple as that. It comes with all the reagents. It comes with a little test tube. It said it came with a syringe to measure out quantities, but Either I've lost it or it didn't, but I have plenty of other ones, so that's fine. But let's go on and do a bit of testing. 
I'm going to do my testing against this tank here. So this is my office aquarium. It's just a nice little aquarium that's got fairly light stocking, got some chili rasboras, some ember tetras in here. Um, but it's a fairly new tank as well. So I have been keeping an eye on the water chemistry with all the other tests already. So I can do some comparisons for you and we'll see how it aligns with the API test or with the GBL test. But this is the one that we're going to use the test against. So the unit itself, um, we have the diode probe here. You just plug in a power source, so it's a USB power source. And the screen lights up. And as you can see, well, hopefully you can see, you are presented with a screen that says choose symbol. Uh, and it starts at pH, but you turn the wheel, copper, magnesium, iron, phosphate, silicates, nitrites, nitrates. You go through all the options to select the test you want to do. So I don't know, let's do it. Let's do ammonia. So ammonia, NH3, fairly clear cut like that. Press the button. Sample zero, okay. And if you refer to the included instructions, again, this is just printed on A4 paper, but I think this will become a manual at some point. Talk to you through how to do all the tests here. So what did I choose? Ammonia. Uh, ammonia test. From the menu, use the knob to select ammonia. We have done that. We take three millilitres of test water and rinse the vial. Take three millilitres of test water again. Screw the vial with the cap. Introduce the vial into the device. Sample zero appears, as it does there. Click the knob. Sample X is displayed. Unscrew the vial. Add three drops of the reagent. Shake. Add two drops of another reagent. Then also add two drops of reagent three. Screw in, mix and put into the device. Click on the knob and get the result. That's a long way of saying there are three reagents needed for NH3. Clearly labeled one, two and three. So we just need some water in the test vial, which I have left in here. Number one piece of feedback. Big fat fingers like mine, it's very hard to retrieve the vial from the device without just tipping it out. So either a bigger opening or some kind of tongs to retrieve the vial. I shall go and do the rinsing part and then I'll come back. Right, we've collected three millilitres of water in a clean test tube. We've cleaned out the glass. So let's just follow it to the, to the instructions. I mean, it's almost three millilitres, so I guess you don't need to use the syringe. So we put it in. As it says here, we sample zero appears on the screen. That's what we've got. Click the knob. Testing. Put the little lid back on. You just wait for that to finish. Testing end. That's fine. So again, this is the slight problem of getting it out. Unscrew the vial. Add three drops of NH3-1 reagent, which is this one here. One, two, three. I obviously can't do this without counting out loud because my brain doesn't work that way. Shake. Add two drops of reagent two. One, two. And two drops of reagent three. One, two. Put the cap back on, quick shake, put it into the device, 
cover it over, press the button again so we're still on sample X. 20 minutes, I did not realize this one took 20 minutes. <laughs> so it's testing it. So I guess we can go and make a cup of tea or do something else instead. So while we're waiting for that, we'll go back to my standard. This is definitely the quickest way to do it. Uh, and we'll test with a test strip and with the, um, the API kit. And we'll compare all three results and see how we get on. With the JBL kit, all you do is you have the app on your phone. Uh, JBL Pro Scan, it's called. The app is actually updated, but it tells you what to do. You start the countdown, you dip it in, shake it off, and then compare results. So let's go and do that. Start countdown. One, two, three. Shake it off. And then we have a counter. And we compare that to, or we lay it on top of the test strip. A few seconds to go. And then it will fire up the camera and ask me to take a picture. So we will take a picture of, so that's actually come back and said I've got a little bit of nitrite and a pH of nine. I don't think that's true. I think what's happened there is you can see that the, the strip has bled. So even though this is my favorite type, it obviously has its own drawbacks. So I don't believe that to be true. I might just do that again. Possibly I didn't shake it enough, something like that. So as you can see, I'm not fudging any of these results. This is just what actually happens. So we'll go and give it one more go over here. Um, unfortunately, the JBL one doesn't actually do ammonia. So I've picked a, a daft test to use as a comparison, but the Master test kit does. So we'll do that one as well. As always, give everything a nice good shake. It's a moment of truth. Can I get five millilitres in the first try? No. That makes me sad. Right, second time round, it's told me the pH value is seven, which is much more within tolerance. And it's also half the amount of nitrite I've apparently got. So I wasn't expecting to have any nitrite. But we could, I mean, we could be going through some kind of mini cycle or something like that. So the key with the API test seems to be just shaking things vigorously. So you add eight, I think, yeah, eight both into the test tube. So bottle one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's important to remember that these things do have a shelf life. So there is a best before date on the bottle somewhere. Yep, so this one's July 2024, so well within date. And then eight of this one. So we've still got 11 and a half minutes to go of the diode probe test. So with the ammonia test, we're looking for this to basically remain that shade and that color. Because that to me matches up with zero, which is what we want. So I've never actually done the ammonia test with the diode probe. I have done some of the other ones and they didn't take quite as long. So it's obviously not the fastest test, but if it can be the most accurate and not rely on me comparing this to another color chart, I think if you just take out the human element altogether, it gives you a much more accurate picture of what's going on. So this is quite interesting. When it got down to about seven minutes, it shot up to 70 minutes. And then 60. So I think what's happened is it's just a bit of a programming error. So rather than saying 04 or 03, it says 30. So obviously still in development. So we're into what I think is the final minute of the diode probe test, but the ammonia test has passed its five minutes, but I forgot to turn the camera back on. And I read that as 0.25 parts per million in the master test kit sheet. Um, it might have got a touch darker for then because it's been sitting an extra few minutes, but that's what I read that as. Which is not brilliant because you don't want anything in there, but we can deal with these things. So let's see what this thing says. 40 seconds to go. It's exciting. And there we are. It says testing zero time remaining. And the result 0 0.66 parts per million. 
So there we go, that was just a quick run through of doing a couple of tests. I've, I've done a few tests for this, I've only had it for a few weeks. Um, that was the first ammonia test I've done, so I wasn't realising that was going to take 20 minutes, but most of them take seconds. Uh, I've just done a pH test, for instance. My pH is 6.81, and that took 10 seconds, something like that. I think the nitrite test takes 3 minutes, one of them takes 4 minutes. I'm kind of fine with that. Um, I think the, the main feature of this is that it spits out a number, an exact number. There's no... Nah, you saw me comparing the Master Test Kit Ammonia one, where I thought it was 0.25. Obviously, I got a different result there. There is an element of man with one test kit knows water parameters. Man with many test kits, never sure. I really like this for ease of use. It's obviously still in development. It could be a lot swisher, but the design is solid. It's good. Uh, I like it. It's simple. It's easy to use. All the tests are basically take a sample of water, put it in the little sample chamber, press the button, I guess that gives you a baseline, put in the reagent, press the button again, it does the test and it spits out the number. Couldn't be simpler, so even though it might take a little while for some of the tests, you're not having to sit there and play around with it and manage it, just let it do its thing and it'll spit out a number. So I'm really quite impressed. It is marketed as something that can be used um, basically at a home laboratory test, laboratory level of precision. Um, they do have certificates from, I think it's the University of Warsaw, so it's from Poland. Um, but there's a good array here of uh, tests. The amount of tests, I'll put up a, a sheet of the amount of tests that they've got here. The reagents themselves, there's plenty in them, so they're going to do hundreds, if not thousands, of tests. But you can obviously reorder all this as well. Uh, and I think it's just going to go on from stride to stride. I know this is an older version that I've got, so there is a newer version. If you were to buy this today, you would get a slightly different one. Same basic design, but the algorithm has been tweaked for more accuracy. But Aquarium Adventures approved. I like it. I do like a gadget, so, you know... Great. And the way that it, it works is it's essentially firing lasers, it's using light to measure um, what's going on in that sample, and then it spits out that result. Um, so slightly more accurate, more um, foolproof than test strips. You saw the problem I had with the strips of them merging into one and being a bit messy. You saw the problem in the master test kit of trying to compare colours. That's I've never liked that, I've never been a fan of that. Been a, I'm a massive fan of the API Master Test Kit, it's great, but it, that is a major drawback for me. I do love the test strips for their speed and efficiency. Again, it spits out a number, but it does have its little drawbacks. This doesn't have either of those drawbacks. Um, so yeah, I really like it. In terms of price, um, Again, I'll put a link in the description. You can go on and have a look at it yourself, but I think it comes out around about £180, which sounds a lot. It's definitely a lot more than the £25 or whatever it is you will pay for a master test kit, but comparable products like the HANA checkers and all the other checkers that do this type of test are comparably expensive, if not way more expensive. So it's definitely got a place in the market. If this continues to be funded and developed, I can see this doing great things. Um, I certainly will be using this from now on. I really like it. I was provided it for free, um, but I would consider purchasing this. So as promised, if you're an Aquarium Adventure subscriber, and if you aren't, click the button now. If you're interested in this product, you can use this discount code here. You'll get 20% off uh, the RRP. The code is valid for the first 30 people and it expires at the end of the year. So get moving quickly. Hope you like that kind of thing. If you do want to talk about this a little bit more or see more tests, join us on a Friday night. We usually do a live stream most Friday nights where we talk about many things. You might have seen me previewing this on one of my live streams uh, a couple of weeks back. But join us on a Friday night. Click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Uh, and let me know in the comments what you think of this type of thing. Is it something that you might be interested in? Or do you think it's a bit too gimmicky or something like that? Interested to know what people are thinking in this sort of thing. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye.